In this module, we explore how technology can help, support, and shape writing. We have asked Kale Chappelle, a distinguished professor at Iowa State University, to provide us with insights into this topic. In this lecture, we'll talk about the technology writing connection. And then in the second part, we'll meet our writing expert, Professor Elena Kotos. We'll ask Professor Kotos why writing is important for students and what teachers should know about writing. We'll then ask her for some advice for teachers and finally look at how technology can help in the teaching of writing to English language learners. Many educators in applied linguistics today see a very strong connection between technology and writing. They see their students using technology to put their thoughts into words, to have conversations with each other, and with a lot of people throughout the world. Overall, technology provides access to many different ways for students to write. And students seem to really enjoy taking those opportunities to make new friends and establish relationships and just have fun. Teachers can find many resources to help teach writing on the internet as well. This connection between writing and technology seems to be very strong. There are two examples of technology for writing that seem to have really played an important role in everything we're doing in education today. They are word processing software, and the second is collaboration software. The image shows an example of a word processing software program, Microsoft Word which most people are probably familiar with. This is one, but only one, of many different kinds of text editors that students are using for writing their essays. The introduction of word processing into the world of writing and instruction has been really important because of students' ability to write something on the screen and then make changes by looking at what they have written or revising what they have written. In my example, a student has written in response to an assignment to write about someone that he or she admires. In this example, the student has taken the prompt of person I admire and used it for the title. The first version of the essay names Barack Obama and tells who he was, the President of the United States. The student writes, he worked very much, and people liked him. He is a nice guy. He traveled a lot, and he played sport like basketball. As teachers, most of us would recognize that this should only be the first draft of an essay that has a lot of room for development. The fact that the student has written it using a word processing program makes that development an obvious and easy thing to handle in a physical sense. Writing on paper wasn't that easy. On paper, the finished product tends to be the paper that the student writes the first time. Word processors, on the other hand, make it easy to change text, and that has had a really strong effect on the teaching of writing. Word processing, when it was introduced in the 1980s, had the effect of changing how teachers thought about writing. The change was from thinking of writing as a product to thinking of writing as a process. In the model where writing is considered a product, the focus is on the finished text as opposed to the process view of writing where the focus is on the process of developing the text, writing, revising, and editing. In the product mode of thinking, writing is for teachers to mark, whereas writing as a process conceptualizes writing as a way for students to learn the language. If we think of writing as a product, the feedback is used to explain the mark that the student gets on the paper. When writing is viewed as a process, feedback is an important tool for learning. Feedback is intended to be formative and to help students to reconsider what they have written 
make revisions, and advance as writers. <laughs>